Hi there. Welcome to FreezerWorks 2015, our brand new solution to sample management. Today we are using Summit, one of three different additions we have provided in our newest release. Let's log in. The landing page will open automatically. From this screen, you can search through your inventory, view all sorts of data using different list view formats, batch update records, create reports, and much more. Click list view tips for quick and helpful descriptions of each part of the screen. You'll notice by the zeros on the inventory page buttons that we have no records selected. We could select View Inventory View All, or we can use the landing page's simple and advanced search options. Double click an existing advanced search to run it, or click Create New to start with a blank advanced search form. If you right click an advanced search, there will be an option to modify as well. Let's run a simple search though and get a large selection of records. We want the search to return samples. And since we want samples with lots of aliquots, we'll search with number of aliquots total. And let's make it greater than 5. We click Search. And you'll notice that the inventory page button numbers change to reflect the new selection. The window title will tell you what you have just performed as well which can come in handy when using the search history tool. Click the back and forth arrows to move through your history, or you can click the little drop down arrow to see all of your previous selections, which are described in the same format as the window title for your convenience. The search and list tool is a quick way to narrow down your current selection, but if you'd like to add to the selection or replace a selection, use simple or advanced searches. The action buttons on the left will affect every record in the current selection. That is, save for the button subset and delete, which will affect records you have highlighted, not just what's in your current selection. What action buttons are at your disposal depends on the inventory page you're on. For example, the Aliquots page adds the buttons Check Out and Check In, while the Patients page has neither of these buttons and does not include Batch Update. The field data displayed on the list view depends on the list format selected in the bottom dropdown. Each inventory page has a different set of list views in that dropdown, corresponding to the associated inventory table. If you need to create or modify a list format, open System Admin Configure List Views. The buttons at the top are the same as the landing page buttons to correspond to the exact same inventory tables. Click Add New while the inventory table you want to add a list view format for is selected. Give your format a name, add some fields, and don't forget to assign it to some groups. You can also set up default sort fields here, and a locked column. But you can sort and lock columns on the landing page as well, as we will soon see. Save your format, and let's go back to View Inventory View All and select a format from the bottom drop-down. To quickly turn on and off sorts, left-click the column headings. Little arrows will show you whether it's ascending or descending sort. If the column selected isn't already a default sort for the format, you are given the option of adding or replacing the sort altogether. If you right-click a column heading, the list view filter window pops open. From here, you can directly filter the selection by field data check off the items you don't want in the selection. You can also modify the sort here, as well as turn on the locked column. This will lock the column and all previous columns from moving, so you can scroll to the right while these fields remain in place. This is very nice for keeping identifier fields in view while scrolling through other data. Now that is our landing page. Thank you, and until next time.